Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Alexandria and Daisy here. Ah. So today I am bringing you another travel video. I know you guys really loved my last travel video I did. It's a while back. Daisy, don't want to sit? Come sit over here with me. I got this bag on Amazon. It's from Rough Dog Gear. This bag is the essential part of the whole thing. So there's so many pockets on here and that's why I loved it. Basically it has the cinchy pocket. It's advertised with like a blanket inside, but you could also put their water bottle in here so that you make sure they have a water bottle to go. Cause traveling in the car, you don't want your dogs to get thirsty. On the other side, it also has a little compartment. This one's detachable so you can unclip it if you like to not have it with you. But this is a waterproof, sealed container for their food. It's gonna keep your food fresh and that's essential as well. You don't know how long you're gonna be there, but it carries a lot. So if you're traveling like besides just um, to your family's house, like if you're backpacking or something like that, or if your dog's going away for a little while and someone else is gonna be watching them, you could pack their bag and this would be like really good. So it has that. And then, by the way, the ways to carry it, you can basically carry it like a backpack because it has two double straps that are adjustable with the padding. Or you can take one of these off because they are detachable. You can hang it around and you can carry it over your shoulder instead. So love that. It also has a little pocket back here. So I don't know, whatever you would like to put in here. On the inside, it also has like a little compartment here. And it also has doggy bags it comes with. It also has two of these pop out bowls. And these are super convenient because they save space. And it has a little clip on the side so you could hang it on the side if it was wet or if you needed to save space. And it comes with a little poopy bag dispenser that you can also hook on your bag or your leash, whichever you choose. And it even has a divider, so if you wanted to divide things inside, you totally can, but it seems like a little flimsy. So I just put it in the bottom for extra support on the bottom to give the bag more structure. And then, last but not least, on the front, it has a pocket here, and it also has a really big pocket here as well. So this thing is full of pockets for you to store, so I am literally in love with the bag. It's perfect, it's got so many compartments, and it's just got like a spot for everything. You know what I mean? So I'll leave it linked below, it's on Amazon. And now let's pack it. Obviously traveling, these things are essential, so I'm gonna open them up. And always make sure that you wash these types of things before you use them. Next up we have the disposable doggy bag. And now you're ready to be a responsible dog parent with your little doggy disposables. It's so cute that it's like a little dog bone too, I love it. Of course, a retractable leash because I just prefer this. It's so much easier than like having to pick up the slack on like one of those handheld leashes. So this is just my preference. I think I got this one at like Marshalls or Ross. I love Marshalls and Ross for dog stuff. It's super affordable as well. And then her harness, this is her harness, it's not a dress, it's just like, you know, something cute I picked up because I love Daisy to be bougie and extra. So this is her harness, and I think I got this from PetSmart, it doesn't say, but I'm pretty sure I got it at PetSmart or Petco. Then I always pack a brush for Daisy, this is her brush, and I always put it in a Ziploc bag because just in case anything gets caught on it or if there's a lot of hair, I can just put it in here and problem solved. I found this stuff, it is phenomenal. This is the Wet Kiss by Warren London Milk and Honey Dog Cologne. But we're gonna call it dog perfume because she's a girl, duh. This stuff is gonna make your dog smell like it just came back from like the groomers. And we cannot forget the dog toys. So I'm just packing two of her little favorite toys. This one has a bottle inside. She's acting like she doesn't hear it, she does. <laughs> this one, our friend Rose and Tank got us, and this one is like a sparkling rosé inspired toy, and then this one is a Chunel. It's a Chanel dog toy. 
toy, practically. And then obviously we're packing dog food and treats. And I like to carry around these little wet wipes just in case she gets something on her or she has an eye booger or she has like something on her butt or her paws just for anything possible that could happen. I like to carry these around and plus I even use these. These come in handy for me if I have like barbecue sauce on my fingernail. Boom. Got it. And that is everything. And the potty pads. I personally have those on hand just in case she needs them too. Last but not least, her blanket. So now that you have all of your dog's essentials, according to them, you can pack your bag. And I love organizing stuff. Starting with the front pocket, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wipes in there so they're the easiest to get to. Um, Cause you're usually not expecting a mess. Then I'm gonna pack her extra disposable doggy bags inside of the pocket because I don't necessarily need them at the moment. So I'm just gonna put them in here. Next up, I'm gonna put her brush that's in the little bag inside of the big compartment along with her toys. Daisy, you remember this toy? I got this toy for her for her like second birthday. Remember this toy? Okay, got that. And I always leave the house with Daisy wearing her harness, but for the video's sake, we're also gonna put that in the large compartment. And for the holidays, I always like to bring like a dress or sweater for Daisy to wear when we're all like at a gathering for the time being. I feel like it's cute and it's festive. And so basically I would pack like anything my dog would be wearing accessory wise. Then I'm gonna pack her food and we're gonna go ahead and put it in this food dedicated compartment that's gonna keep it fresh and keep it clean. Of course, we're gonna pack her spray. You know what this is, huh? That's her foo foo spray. So I'm gonna put this in the compartment with her potty bag, her extra ones right in here. And then for her little disposable thing, I love to put this on the leash. So I'm actually gonna clip it on here so that it's convenient whenever I'm taking her out. You think we're going somewhere? She like knows the routine that we have when I go somewhere. So she thinks that we're going somewhere right now. Cause I genuinely do all of this stuff, just like put it in a target bag and take it with me. Now her little doggy leash is all ready and prepared to be on the go. Going on the go? I'm just kidding, sorry. That was bad, that was a bad joke. So for the two little bowls, I am gonna put them in this compartment so they're easy to get to. So we're all good in this one. The blanket. So this is Daisy's blanket and it has a little crown on the end. I did get this at Petco, I believe. And I'm just gonna like try and fold it up as like neatly as I can and like roll it. This is inspired from the Amazon picture. It had a blanket rolled like this. Not bad, not bad. Okay, this is my first time doing this, so I'm gonna loosen up my little clips, these things. I am so excited to travel now that I have this bag because it makes it so much easier and organized and like, there's like a spot for everything. So I just loosened up the clips on the bottom here, so it fits the blanket a little better. Now all I'm missing is her treats and her potty pads. Look at these adorable little Christmas cookies I got for Daisy. She loves them. They're in like the shape of a gingerbread. <gasps> Do you want one? Do you want one? Sit. Paw. 
<laughs> and that is how you pack your doc's travel bag. I had so much fun and I literally love this bag. I feel like now I'm a professional traveler because her bag is all prepared and organized and ready to go on our trip. And I just love that it has a spot for everything like her blanket, her food, her little bowls, and like all of her stuff is so organized. I'm obsessed with it. But here's what it looks like on. I am 5'7 and like 120 pounds, if that helps at all. And then the other way you can carry it besides this strap. I guess under your arm. You can carry it that way, which is most likely the way I'll be carrying it. Or you can take off one of your straps on the back, but you can put it over here. So now you can wear it over your shoulder. Oh, this feels really convenient too. I think I'll just leave this one on so I can do both and just switch it up if I need to. Perfect. Oh yes, this is it for me. And me and Daisy are all ready to go. I feel like this bag is big enough for I could, I could actually put her inside of it. So I hope you guys loved this video and it helped you out in your traveling. And I hope you guys all stay safe on the road and with your families for the holidays. Daisy is so excited to go see our family. It's been a while since we've seen them and we're so excited everything linked below and i'll see you in my next video bye <laughs> daisy's sleepy